Hello everyone, this is Tina with Tiaz's Treasures and today we're going to see uh, what's in Pink and Main's card kit and uh, we're going to make some cards. So my box is a little beat up <laughs> it looks like, but no worries. Let's take a look. Ooh. Pull this out and we will pull this out as well. Put this to the side. It's fighting me. Okay, we might as well start with uh, our card stock. We get our little recipe card. Tells us what's in here. We get a stop sign, which is red. Construction, which is orange. Street light, which is yellow. Um, night sky, which is purple. I would think that'd be a blue, but that's just me. Uh, salon, which is a light pink. And dress shop, which is a dark pink. And then two sheets of the ice rink. I think last month I said powdered sugar. I think powdered sugar stamps of life. Ice rink, I'm pretty sure, is pink and may. So that's our color palette and our cardstock. Get a lot of cardstock, and it's nice weight in this kit. Very nice. So let's see what's in our kit. I don't remember. It's been a while. It always comes in this nice mesh bag. Ooh, what's this? This is Rosy Posy Red Embossing Powder. Oh, how cool. Didn't know that was going to be in here this month. Like I said, I didn't remember what came in this kit. Get some enamel dots that matches our color palette. Ooh, we get some really pretty sequins. Can you see those? Those are awesome. Oh, look at this. I got two enamel dots. I'm sure that's a mistake. I got two. Woo! Freebie! Okay, I feel a little guilty, but I'm sure they don't want me sending them back. Um, let's see what our card stock is. It says Warm Basics. Okay, maybe I should just like <clears throat> use my little craft knife to open this up. And come on. It's like, I'll take that off. If you get sticky when you take these off, you can always use your uh, embossing bag. <clears throat> My throat's a little, uh, I'm a little hoarse. I didn't know why. Yeah, I've got no sticky on this this time. Take a quick look. A plaid, like a gingham almost. Well, gingham's usually straight. Uh, got some stripes, diagonal stripes. Little lines. Ooh, that's a nice plaid. It's nice. More stripes. Lines. Polka dots. Or dots. These are polka dots, I guess. What's the difference between dots and polka dots? I don't know. But so far, these are some nice warm colors. Oh, got nice pinks there. And reds. And a chevron and more like plaid and I think we're back yes yes that's back where we started so that's our paper pad and this is our stamp set oh look at that little florals little tiny ones with a little pot and they've got the little um the um shaded stamp where you could like go ahead and just stamp this without needing a color. And that is really nice. Just a note, thinking of you, happy days, hello there, and sending cheer. Oh, look at the little dragonfly, little butterfly. Is there, a, oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> How cute. And we get dies for everything. Um, I think that might be for one of the, yeah, the butterfly and the dragonfly and a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Maybe we could like do a, um, you know, yeah, this thing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You know, a little where they fly. Sweet. What is that? Sweet. Um, 
I don't know what that says. Sweet friend. Sweet friend. I mean, come on. I couldn't figure out that. I think I did. I think it's sweet friend. I'd feel really stupid if it's not. But that's what it is. Sweet friend. And I like this little frame. That would be fun to try. And we get a stencil. Look at that. So instead of the embossing folder, we get embossing powder. And this is going to be fun. So let me try to figure out what I'm going to make. And I will be back with some cards. So for this first card, I decided I was going to make a shaker card. And I... Um, screwed up here and there but in the end it made a beautiful card and it worked out and you'll see um, my mess ups because it is not a Tiaz's treasure um, video without me messing up at least once or twice and I do like to tell you when I mess up and so you can uh, figure out how to fix your mess ups and you don't automatically throw in the towel and think you can't fix it. So what I'm doing here is I cut out the front of my card and I'm using a piece of white cardstock that I also cut out and I am stamping that. And that's going to go on the card base behind our little shaker window. And I just love this little frame. It's really pretty and I like the way it keeps the middle in because that works out to what we're doing. And so I just was using some VersaFine black onyx ink. So I heat set it to make sure it didn't smudge. <clears throat> I'm still a little fro uh, froggy here in my throat. Excuse me. So I've got that glued down. And now I had already put on my foam tape on the back of this, which is screw up number one. I should have waited to put on the foam tape because I want to stamp on my acetate. So in order to make it work, I pulled out the foam insert of my Misty so everything is kind of lined up right. And I'm using the little sunflower and I'm using some stays on ink. And I didn't want to stamp more than once. I could have made it a little darker, but because I've got foam tape already on the back of this, I was afraid if I stamped it more than once, it wouldn't line up properly. Even though we're in the corner, you know, it's still got a lot of give when you press on the misty door. And so I figured once was enough. I got a good impression. It just wasn't as dark as it might have been otherwise. But I really thought this was cute. Now we could have put this little flower on the white uh, frame right there. But I wanted it on the acetate. I don't know why. I just did. And so here I'm just kind of taping my um, card front down. I'm going to tape it to the card base. I'm doing all five two, five two, A2 cards. And most of them are going to be top opening. And as you can see, this little frame's fun. It's not completely centered because we've got that little swirl off to the side and I wanted to fit that in but I think it's almost centered it's centered enough so I used my little anti-static bag on um, my acetate and on my little white piece of cardstock and you know when I put my acetate down all my sequins still wanted to jump up to kiss the acetate I don't know, they have this like attraction that the, the little sequins cannot get enough of the acetate. Now these sequins are really fun though. They're like flat sequins that are kind of got ridges. They still have a little hole in the center, but I'm not using very thick um, foam tape. I'm just using some strips, um, I think some dairy strips. And so I wanted to make sure I just had a flat layer I didn't want like a double layer. And as you can see, they're all my, my sequins are jumping up right there. And I stood up to put that on so I could see what I was doing. And now I have got the sentiment Sweet Friend that I cut out in some black cardstock. And I am just going to 
glue that down underneath where we have that great big open part. Now, when as soon as I, I cut out this sentiment, I immediately put my little tittle in a triangle tray and it was there and I cut out a sweet friend in orange for another card and the black tittle was still there. And as soon as I grabbed the tray to use it, it was gone. So I had to cut it out again. I mean, I don't know where it disappeared to. I put it in the tray. I saw it in the tray. I went to use it in the tray. It was just gone. So anyway, <laughs> this was card number one. For card number two, I am taking a cheerful piece of yellow cardstock and pattern paper. And I took the zigzag circle die from Pink and Main that I bought um, quite a few years, well, maybe two, three years back. I love this die. I just think it's kind of unique. You see a lot of the scallop dies, but I don't see a lot of zigzag dies with the stitching. So I took the pink little circle die. I think it might be um, like two inches, two and a half inches. I, I haven't ever really measured it. And I am putting um, the little floral right in the center. Now I am going to stamp it in pink. I'm going to stamp it in Simon Says um, Saturated, Positively Saturated Ink in Peony. And you know, just because flowers don't uh, necessarily have pink stems or whatever else. This is your card. You can do what you want. So I stamped it in Peony and then I took the little center die right there and I used rose for that. It's just a little bit darker, same family of colors and I just think it's really pretty. Now when I do like yellow and pink on a card, it just reminds me of summery like pink lemonade. I don't know what it is about lemonade. I mean, if it's pink, I, I just love it. I'm sure it tastes the same as regular lemonade, but when it's pink, it just brings out the child in me and I want a glass. And now I'm like craving pink lemonade, but I have no lemons. I have nothing to make pink lemonade out of. So I have a piece of the pattern paper. I cut it a diagonal, which is pretty easy to do because this uh, pattern paper is a diagonal um, gingham. So I just went along the lines and I cut out uh, about two inches. I just eyeballed it. I didn't measure anything. And I am going to stamp out just a note with, um, I'm gonna use some of the clear embossing ink, some VersaFine, and I should have stamped it twice, I think, to give it a little bit better coverage, but I was afraid of it moving, and so I only stamped it the once, but it still, it turns out really nice, and I didn't do a, a, a swatch of the embossing powder before I used it. So this red embossing powder, it's it's a pinky red. So it's a little darker than what we stamped out, but I don't care. I think it still was really nice. Now I am just emptying my embossing powder on the most wrinkly piece of <laughs> scrap paper that you've probably ever seen. I pulled it out from behind something. I was looking for my other my other embossing scrap paper and I just found that and I'm like why why not and I get that all embossed and then I am just going to glue down flat my gingham plaid at the diagonal which I think is a really fun look now first I of course cut it down to a two size and that's when I cut it at the diagonal after that and I'm going to put my little floral and my zigzag circle right in the center. But this card still needs something. So I'm pulling out some of the little pink enamel dots. And I'm going to put two groupings of three in each corner. And luckily, because I got two packs of these enamel dots, I don't have to worry about hoarding them, which is a bad habit to be in. 
I, you know, even as I was cutting a bunch of this pattern paper up, I'm like, maybe I should just look for some of this pattern paper, or this, uh, not the pattern paper, the cardstock. I was like, maybe I should just use a color that's similar from my stash. It's like, no, you have too much in your stash. Use the paper. <clears throat> you know, my voice was fine until I started doing this voiceover. Then I got really hoarse. So I went ahead and I used the uh, stencil and I dry embossed on this piece of purple cardstock. And the little um, florals on it match perfectly up with the um, stamps. So I decided after I embossed, I was just going to use some of my black VersaFine ink and you know, put one of the florals right in the center there, right over its its little sister. And once I stamped it, it was off to the side just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I like the way that looked. It was just offset enough that it gives it a kind of unique look. Now, this uh, purple... I thought we really need a nice contrasting color, so I took orange cardstock and I cut out Sweet Friend, and I'm using the pla a plaid pattern paper in the background, which has the purple and orange, so everything is kind of pulled together. And that's a really kind of fun plaid right there with the, it's got some reds and yellows. The oranges and the purple is what I was really, um, concerned about though because I really wanted to bring in that orange and the purple and the plaid just worked perfectly for that. Now you don't see a lot of it but just that little bit that peeks through is enough. You don't need to see a lot of it. And I'm popping that up with some foam tape. Now I watch people put foam tape on the back of their cards all the time and they don't seem to have a problem. Mine, I always have a little bit of an issue either getting it straight or getting it cut to where it needs to be. And I really need to get some nonstick scissors. I might have some that I haven't even opened somewhere. I'm going to have to go through stuff. I am, I'm really tired of my foam tape sticking to my scissors. But, you know, what are you going to do? So I have one piece of crappy scissors that are dedicated so I've got this popped up right in the center there and after I get that popped up I'm just going to glue down Sweet Friend right on the bottom now I've got this sped up uh, I think it's sped up four times I do not put glue on that quick I am quite a bit slower when I'm putting on the glue and luckily this time when it came to put the little dot above the eye, my little tittle, it was right there where it was supposed to be in my little triangle tray. I didn't have to go cutting out another one. It was there. It's like, yay. So I got that right where it should be. But the card still needed a little something. So I went ahead and I took some of the orange enamel dots and I put those on my card just enough to you know add add that little something so we've got the dry embossing we've got our little floral stamped we've got some enamel dots just kind of strewn across the front of this card and that's gonna be it for this card and I just think it it was a simple card and it's it turned out really pretty I love the little stamped floral a little scribbled flower. Now for our third card here, I have took some polka dot pattern paper and I took a piece of pink cardstock that I cut down. I want to say I probably cut it down to three and a half by um, uh, four and something. Something, something. I mean, yeah, four and a half there it looks like, looking at my Misty. And I'm going to just stamp out three of the little sunflowers. I really like the little sunflowers. Well, I like all the florals in this kit. And I'm just going to stamp out three of them going across the front of the pink cardstock. And I'm just using some um, VersaFine, Versa, 
Versafine, yeah, whatever. The Versafine um, ink. And it's the Onyx Black ink. And I am just going to do three of them. So I do the two on either end first. So I make sure they are spaced evenly because it wouldn't really be good to start from one end and then put the next one down and then have a great big gap. You could make it work by cutting off the end. As I've proved before, if you screw up on your cards, you can always usually fix them. So I went ahead and, oh, can you hear my cat over there? The kitty is like, playing with paper. So I've got the three little florals. Yeah, come on, baby. If it's not the dogs when I'm doing a voiceover, it's the cat, always something. So I stamp out the three, and we're not gonna do any additional coloring. That's the beauty of this kit. I, I didn't pull out any alcohol markers. Any coloring I did was done with the stamps themselves. And I just like the way the black looks stamped on colored cardstock. So I've got my three little florals there. And I thought about, you know, seeing if I could fit a sentiment on the bottom, but it wasn't going to work. So I'm taking the pattern paper and I am going to stamp Happy Days. And I remembered uh, to use my embossing powder tool every time I embossed, which I say every time I embossed. I think I only embossed two or three times. <laughs> so it's not like I needed it a whole lot. But uh, because the Versa Fine ink is a pigment ink, it tends to smear if you're not careful. So instead of smearing it, taking a chance, it's just easier to go ahead and heat and emboss right over it. So I use the Sentiment Happy Days and I use some Wow Clear Embossing Powder. Um, I don't have a lot of pink and main embossing powders. I did think about using the one that came in the kit again, except because my flowers are black instead of like the posy, rosy red that kind of color, I just thought I would stick with the black for the sentiment. So I went ahead and heat embossed that right there on the bottom. And I am just going to get everything on my card base. So I'm taking my card front, which is the polka dot pattern paper, and I'm going to take my pink card stock, which is a really nice weight card stock. I just love the, um, the paper that comes in these kits. It's not flimsy at all. It would make nice card bases too. You can do anything with it. And I just glued that down and it looked a little crooked to me. So I pulled it up just a little bit. The glue was not dry and I tried to fix it. I probably should have used a T-square ruler, make sure I got it nice and straight, but I didn't. I just eyeballed it. And now I am putting some more enamel dots down. Now I'm using uh, four different colors because we've got all the polka dots. We could use the different colors and it turns out really good. I think I use enamel dots on every card except for the shaker card. And with that one, you didn't need the enamel dots because we had all the little sequins. So that was card number four. Now we're just flying through these cards. Now for this card here, I am using orange and yellow. Yellow is just so cheerful. I just love it. So I've got some orange polka dot pattern paper for the background with a piece of orange card stock. And then I've got some yellow um, like lined um, pattern paper that I just cut out about an inch and a half, two inch stripe going down the center. And I am again using a little frame. Now this time I am stamping it and I am going to stamp a bunch of stuff inside the frame because we're still gonna be able to cut it out without disturbing anything that we stamp inside of it. And I'm using the VersaFine uh, Black Onyx Ink again and getting that just stamped. Doesn't matter where I'm stamping it on this yellow card stock because like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna die cut it out. And I'm gonna 
turn it um, upside down. I don't think there's any right way to use this little frame. On the shaker card, I've got it going in the opposite direction. But for this card, I thought we'd have little swirls on top because I want to put the little um, the little pot down there with like the string attached. And I thought it would look better with our little swirlies up at the top. And so I'm just getting my pot nice and even there. And I'm going to stamp that out. We're going to be using the Versa Fine Dark Ink or the Black Ink on all of our black stamping on this card. And this ink is just, it's one of my favorites. Even though it doesn't always dry right away. I just love the way it's nice and crisp and gives really, really dark lines. Um, I don't think... You're supposed to alcohol, you know, use it for alcohol coloring. But it's my understanding that you can watercolor using it. You're just having too much fun. My kitty is having too much fun just uh, knocking on everything in here. I never see him on top of my desk. and But I think it's just because he's too lazy to jump up here which is just as well because there's so much that he could knock down. So I am going to use our little scribble flower in there and I am going to end up masking off the stem so it doesn't look like it is on the outside of our pot. And it's really easy to mask off a stem just using a piece of post-it tape. So you just put the post-it tape on you know, ink up your, your stamp just like regular, but uh, don't forget to take the post-it the post -it note off because that would be bad. You'd have that black blob of ink on your paper then. So I'm just going to push that down and it's going to look like our flower is coming right out of our pot there. And then I want to use the, I, the little butterfly. I was thinking of using the dragonfly, but I thought we'd get a little bit more coverage with the butterfly, so why not? Um, I even thought about using both the butterfly and the dragonfly, but I thought that might be a little too much inside this cute little square. And now, after I wipe that off, I am going to pull the solid stamps in to add some color to these um, these little stamps and for the butterfly I'm gonna use the peony just because that's still sitting on my desk that's the positively saturated ink and I just pulled it in and it gives it a little bit different color because it is on the yellow card stock so it's almost a pinky orange but it's a really pre pretty color and then for the flower this this is really fun because it doesn't fit perfectly inside of the the scribble and I'm not sure if I grabbed the wrong one or what the deal was I don't think I did it's just not meant to fit all the way in it's meant to give kind of that uh, abstract look and for this one I brought in um, grapefruit the color grapefruit because I did want an orange color because we are using the orange cardstock and see how that leaves you know so much yellow space and it just kind of gives some color inside there now you could have used alcohol markers or any number of thing or you know watercolors but I wanted to I wanted it to look the way it does and now for the pot I am going to bring in latte and I'm only going to stamp it once, so it's going to be a very, very subtle light color, even lighter when it dries, but that's the look I was going for. I just wanted to get rid of the pure yellow look of the cardstock. And now I'm just going to use my dies and cut that out. And the whole time I was putting my die over this little frame, I was like, please don't... Uh, don't get it messed up. Please don't offset it. Please, um, you know, get it where it's supposed to go because I am known for not getting my dies exactly where they need to be and having them up a little too high or a little too far to the left or the right. 
but for a change, the die was exactly where I needed it. And once I cut it out, it was just like chef's kiss. Perfect. Loved it. And this card, I think, um, it's one of my favorites. Actually, I love this entire kit. And so I am not popping up anything on here. It would have been really easy to do, but I just left everything flat, so everything will go through the mail nice. And as you can see, um, I would love you to like this video, please. It will help me so much. Um, I am I am having a hard time getting my subscriber count up, but I think that's because I don't release videos in a timely manner. I do well, maybe one every week and a half. I don't know if I should do more or not, but, you know, I, I can only <laughs> do so many. Of course, I could probably do a lot more, but they would not be on the latest card kits, which I'm thinking to start doing. I'm thinking, like, to just start doing some cards to uh, go through some of the stuff in my stash. I have way too much in my stash. So this card was just a lot of fun, and now I am going to stamp Hello There. Um, I should have probably heat set it or I should have um, heat embossed it rather before I glued the stripe on. I should have put a sentiment and heat set it, heat embossed, embossed it with some embossing powder so it didn't smear. But because this was the last card, I kind of had faith that I would not smear it because um, I wouldn't be throwing it off to the side. I'd be paying attention to what I was doing and I did not smear it. So I didn't want to risk warping the cards, so I just stamped out the VersaFine ink right there and hoped for the best, and the best worked for once. So I put some enamel dots on that, and that was card number five. So if you enjoyed this video, please um, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I, I would love it. Um, I would love to know what you think of these cards. Do you have a favorite? Um, do you have this kit? And if you do, uh, what did you do with it? So anyhow, that is it for now. And love you all. Bye-bye for now.